So I'm here at the flea market. It's around 6 a.m. I think it's going to be a pretty, pretty busy day. It's supposed to be really nice out, so I'm still going to wait, though. I'll shop with a flashlight. I just don't want to set up with one. It's colder out than I thought. I'm going to have to put a jacket on, but shopping my flashlight. My brother did too. Yeah. But you know what? I didn't need the pencil anyway. Box of Florida. Oh, I'll do 80 on this one. I got a whole box of Army Men huge box. Alright, I just want to get to the record. Just so you know, I'm going to do that. Shoes, I was going to do 80. How much is your bag? The bag, I'm going to do five. Alrighty, thanks. That's cute. Do you have the Army Men handy? Uh, it's coming. It's one of those boxes. <laughs> thing another day how about you that's a good thing So 
$3.33 a piece. Ooh, he has a treasure chest back there. He actually has treasure. <laughs> but yeah, $3.33 a piece for these guys. That's That suits me just fine. Oh, got some water. Yeah, that's, that's busy already. Maybe one day I'll set up in the dark, but for now I like sitting up when there's a little bit of sunlight. What do you need on this guy? About a dollar. Antwerp, Belgium. That's great. Love this part of the world. What, what silver? Show me so you can tell it. This is silver. This is gold. Silver. This is silver. That's just a band. Yeah. Oh. Band. Oh. All right, thank you. Oh, okay, I got you. No problem. There's a little pouch here. Yeah. Okay, sir. Well, any time. I know, man. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
a successful flea market day I am back home and I don't have to unpack anything because I, I sold a lot I actually had three tables and by the time I was leaving if I condensed everything I probably had about one table full of stuff and um, what is left I pass along to my friend there to sell because I don't want to take it back with me at this flea market, you know, your, your big buyers, your heavy hitters, those that buy in bulk, um, those that buy um, for reselling or for collecting, they're out there right in the morning. You know, they are there and they're ready to buy. So the items that are left over aren't necessarily bad, but they're just, um, I guess maybe the not as desired, you know, they're the dollar, two dollar items, where the items that are right up there in the morning are usually, you know, your five, 10, 15, 20, and so on. But I did some shopping as well. Picked up these three little ads. I was excited when she said it was $10 for all three. I think that's a great price. So $3.33 roughly they each cost me which in the world of um, the vintage knee hugging elves is a fantastic price and two of them still have their original made in japan labels which i just love i love that little label and when you see that you know you're looking at vintage so i bought those and then i don't think they'll sit up there sit up there and then i also bought the little um, diary. I was really shocked when I saw it. It said 1880 because this doesn't look that old. Um, it looks like it was a ledger for um, it says account with I don't know if I can make up that name. So I think it's more of like what they sold. Paid William can't read that. Let's see. Went to oh went to New York Uh, I'm not sure if this says a casket. <laughs> Got Cor Corey a casket? I can't, a basket maybe? <laughs> I don't think you can, maybe you went to New York to buy a casket, but the back is full. Um, Charles, this is going to take a while to decipher. Took to lunch. C cult to break? Oh, a cult. He took, he took a horse to lunch. I don't know. I'll figure I would take a little look-see at what is in here. But um, it was, the market was full. There were, ended up being a lot of sellers there, which, as my friend says, you know, makes your piece of the pie smaller. Because when there are more sellers there, there are more tables to shop from. So that feeding frenzy that happens in the mornings, which is why I don't, really like setting up when that feeding frenzy is there um that feeding that feeding frenzy is kind of scattered all over since there are so many vendors sellers when you have you know a cold winter flea market day and there may be only 15 people set up to to sell that feeding frenzy can become very very crazy and that's why as i said before i've had days where you know i'm getting yelled at because i'm putting things on the left table and nothing on the right table or you have people bending over and trying to grab stuff from someone else. It's like, it's just stuff. It's just stuff. But they like my stuff. I have reasonable prices because I want to move it. I want to get it gone, as they say. You know, I have a spare room that is filled. We all do. We all have rooms, attics, basements, garages, storage units, sheds, things, things shoved in closets and shelves and little drawers. We all have that, but we all are still out of that flea market, still searching for that treasure. And this got this has got me excited for flea market season. The weather has finally took a turn for the better, I think, here at least. Hopefully no more snow. 
Um, so I am excited. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little flea market video. There will definitely be more flea market videos to come. I'm going to try and, you know, stay focused, make sure I look at all the little things that the flea markets have to offer and hopefully come away with some really great treasures. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Click on the little thumbs up button. I was going to have the little elf do it, but yeah, he says it. Click on the thumbs up button. <laughs> Make that uh, YouTube algorithm work in my favor for once, will you? <laughs> anyway, thank you again for watching. Have a great day. And if you are out and about at your local flea market, enjoy the weather. Um, get some coffee, hot tea, peruse the aisles, and I hope that you find your treasure. Thank you.